Hi everyone and welcome to the March update from CIPR. I should be bringing this to you from our first volunteer conference in Manchester, but given the current climate around the world, I'm doing this from my living room in Farnborough in Hampshire. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to our volunteers and the staff at CIPR for all of the work they are doing to support our members and those who aren't our members at such difficult times. We've seen massive efforts from the CIPR Health Group and the local public sector group to launch guides and information that's readily available for all of our members. As head office, the team have offered a three month break for freelancers on their subscriptions. And we've also been in touch with those over 70 to see what we can do to help them. We've joint forces with PRCA to issue a statement, lobbying the government to support those that are self-employed. And now more than ever, it's a time for our industry to really come together. What I really want to focus on is what we can do as a community. So if there's anybody that needs any help, anybody that's looking for any advice, please reach out to CIPR volunteers or staff and we will do whatever we can to help. What is really good is that we're still focusing on all those things we can do to bring you benefits as members. And next month, we'll see the launch of the iProvision Mental Health Hotline. iProvision is the benevolent fund for CIPR members. And if you can, now is the time to do a donation, but they are there to support you. And the Mental Health Hotline has been something championed by our health group for the last few months. In April, we will also see the launch of our mentoring scheme, where we will be matching fellows with other members. Feels like absolutely the right time to be launching something that will bring some benefit. And we will also see the launch of our CPD platform, which is back up and running from the 1st of April. So if you do have time, now is the time to start looking at how you can develop and invest in yourself to be ready for whatever is going to come throughout the rest of this year. For now, I just want to say stay safe. Please stay at home. Please look after each other and take time just to remember what a community we can be when we really come together. Thank you. Thank you.